Hey everyone, a lot of people always ask me about this and it's about lighting. It's about lighting in my shop and how much is too much and how much do I have and why do I have so many? So I'm gonna take you on a little tour of all the lighting in our shop uh, right now. Okay, so we have all of our lights set up on Alexa and we have a bunch of different levels of lights that we use for different reasons. Um, the, the section labeled lights, this is all of our LED lights. And then the plugs are all of our scan grips. We have 11 multi-match eight scan grips uh, mounted around the room. You can get those from Car Supply Warehouse or other places. And then we have a couple other groups of floodlights, diffuse lights, and uh, so forth and so on. And so we call the scan grips the polishing lights. And I'm gonna show you here what the difference looks like. Now, here's the problem. Um, you know, the camera is gonna not quite capture everything because the focus and the color will adjust as I adjust. But, so let's turn off all the shop lights. Okay, so this is the shop as is. And this is just the garage lights, like your typical uh, LED garage lights. All right, now I'm gonna turn on all of the shop lights at once. And just for the record, our HVAC system, it does have a heater, but we don't need it nine times out of 10 because the lights themselves will heat this room up. So this is every light in the house, except for the floodlights, which didn't turn on. Alexa, turn on the floodlights. So the floodlights will push out a couple hundred thousand more. So this is kind of almost max, actually. Alexa, turn on the diffuse lights. Okay, so this is now, I think, every light we have on in the shop. Uh, actually, it's not, because we do have lights on the garage door, which we have to plug in and out. And if anybody in the comments has a solution for this rather than plugging like some sort of contact device or something, man, I would love to hear it. Um, oh, there we go. And we actually are missing a six foot down there. It burnt out, but I got more. I just haven't put it up yet. Okay, so this is every light on in the house. Um, I rarely use this. Those floodlights are so brutally hot. Um, so Alexa, turn off the floodlights. Now, if we absolutely have to see everything, those are the lights we use. It'll light up everything. Um, this is probably our normal working condition for doing PPF. Um, I like it super bright, uh, but it's not quite realistic for what a client would see. So in terms of defects in the PPF. So when I wanna see that, I turn off the LED lights. Alexa, turn off the LED lights. Now what we have is we have all 11 scan grips, of course, and then we have our diffuse light. Now we want the diffuse light because that's more realistic. Now you're saying scan grips are not diffused and that's true. So when we do coatings and when we wanna see what a PPF job looks like to a client, we put these diff large diffusers on. And so this is better for checking coatings instead of paint correction. So we have a bunch of these diffusers. They go up and they diffuse the light and it makes it more natural and then shows you better what a job will look like in diffused lighting instead of focused lighting. Then the next type of lighting we really use, Alexa, turn off the diffused lights. The next type of lighting we use is really the correction lights and our polishing lights. And so that's all these 11 scan grips. So when we're doing paint correction, we have the diffusers generally off and that allows us to see defects much better. Now, hopefully we'll be able to see on camera, my shadow is in the way, but you see 
This, this is the only panel of my car. It's purposely not covered by PPF to show people and to do other tests. But you see all those swirls and sort of um, holograms. So this car came like this new or, or used when I bought it. They had a wrap on it. You know, they probably did a really quick po bad polishing job. So you can see all that, right? But let me sh turn off the correction lights and turn on the LED lights and you're gonna see how even on a white car with the correction lights, I can see those defects, but I won't see it if I just turn on the LEDs. Alexa, turn off the cor correction lights. Oh, actually, I changed the name of the group. Alexa, turn off the polishing lights. She doesn't always love me. Alexa, turn off the polishing lights. Alexa, turn on the LED lights. All right, you see how much better that panel looks when, let me see, let me turn this. See, that panel looks pretty mint. And I'm telling you that in person, even though you may not be able to tell on camera, in person, I can't see a single one of those defects. But if you put on the correction lights, you notice how awful it looks. So then we go to the diffuse light, which is better for coating and what have you. So let me back up just a little bit here. Okay, so you kind of have an idea. Um, and I'm gonna turn off the LEDs. Alexa, turn off the LED lights. Alexa, turn on the polishing lights. Okay, so you see the polishing lights. Now I'm gonna come back in a second. I'm gonna, I can't do it with one hand. So I'm gonna put all of those, I'm gonna put a lot of those diffusers on. We're still waiting somewhere on back order, but I'm gonna put a lot of those diffusers on and you'll see, you know, hopefully on camera how the lighting looks a little bit different. Okay, I don't know if you can tell. So we have all the diffused lighting on and it's just a little bit cooler in here. It's a little, there's less shadows. So a lot less shadows because the light isn't as focused. Now I'll tell you, this is better for catching high spots on ceramic coating. It is not as good for paint correction. I can still, you won't probably be able to see it on camera, but I can ever so slightly see the defects in this painted panel, but nowhere near when I had only the scan grip lights on without the diffusers. And then another question a lot of people ask is why do we have black walls? Well, it does look better, um, but scratches are white to the naked eye. And if you have glossy white walls and a lot of light, the light reflecting uh, will wash out the scratches and we wanna see it. I want the cars to look in theory as bad as possible inside the shop. The worst that they ever will, I wanna see it in the shop so that anytime the client sees it outside of the shop, it's always gonna be better than under this harsh lighting, no matter what type of lighting we have.